I was sent to prison uh, because of overdose. I've done something that uh, me myself also don't know what happened. Involved a lot, a lot of crime, stealing, uh, cheating, or whatever it is, to just to get money to meet my desire of drug. Uh. I've been to a lot of center for the in the whole Malaysia. The first thing they ask you, who is the one going to support your living here? So lucky I meet Mr. Daniel. Uh, I can see he got a heart of gold, you know. At that kind of time, uh, you know, he take the risk to bring me in. Here I learned to humble myself that I have nothing, but still people help me. So I can see there where I know where there is a God up there. You know, whatever I do, everything today, I thank God. Uh, even though even I get a plain glass of water, uh, you know, to me, I try before on the street, you know. You know, the COVID, uh, they don't even have shop open. They don't even have water for you to drink. I become a worship leader. <laughs> we don't have a guitar, I don't, I don't even have to sing. That means we, just like, because I have been a lot of centers, so I knew some song lyric. So together, every day we worship. So slowly, slowly worship, I believe, uh, there's something that touches my heart. Lah. Then I've started to read Bible. I mean, I'm very good at Bible, you know, a lot of memory verse because in a center, once a center we stay, for a course we take for about one year, we need to have 52 golden verses to, to remember one. Step by step, lah, they will guide us. Lah. It's either we are willing or not willing to change. Lah. So from very young, uh, teenager, I'm on drug already. So honestly, I said there's only one way out. Lah. It's my Lord Jesus Christ. For the past two years, I'm seeking to forgiveness from my parents. My desire to meet my parents, they are more 70 over 80 already, and I haven't seen them for years. So every day I just pray, like the day I just now I mentioned to you, I went back to Malacca, I want to try to, you know, meet up with my family. My, my younger brother will tell me, oh, I'm at KL, so they are keep avoiding me. I mean, maybe they are scared of us, like maybe they think we will go back to the same old time, because as I say, my parents, my family, more than 20 years, can you afford to have a drug addict or a gambler in your house? You know what will happen? Oh, that, that is a very terrible thing. It's like a curse. I'm the worst of the worst. Lah. If me, this kind of people also can change, ah, to you it's no problem. I mean, I'm, I can't see anybody is worse than me, you know. To my family, until my mother's, honestly, I'm not shy to say, having depression because of me, because my mother loved me very much. So I learned a lot of things that don't take things for granted. Lah. You must be very grateful for what God has done for us. You know? so, until today, my secret to my success is that I'm thankful, I'm grateful, and whatever that I face, I look up to God. Lah.